Pink Floyd The Wall video, take two. <laughs> this is my second try at making this video because the first time I just couldn't get the words out. I couldn't even remember the name of the songs. Because, yeah. But I know I've. Ooh, lighting. I know I did the Pink Floyd video where I talked about all their albums in short detail. But I wanted to talk about this one separately, which I probably will do with all their albums in time. But I've always, always been enamored with the album. It is one of the greatest albums in rock and roll or in music history. You know, I know it's long, at like, I think it's like one hour and 20 minutes. It's a rock opera, so it's going to be long. And it's just the best. It's amazing. The opening track, In the Flesh and the Thin Ice, is such an amazing way to open the album. That guitar riff that just kicks it off and sort of explodes with the screaming. And, oh, it's amazing. And then it goes into Another Brick in the Wall, one of the greatest songs of all time, and one of Pink Floyd's best songs. Which I think it's one of the best seven singles as well, of any band. And then it now goes into, well, I'll show off the album while I talk about it. it goes into the song Mother, which is a really beautiful ballad that ends with the lyrics, Why does it have to be so high? Which, so the story is, or the story as I understand it, based on the album and the film. Pink is has a troubled childhood and his father dies in the war. So growing up his mother is not very I think his mother is overprotective of him and his teachers hurt him at school. And then he grows up and his wife from the movie, I think his wife cheats on him and he becomes a fascist. It's it's too much for me to explain in one video because I still don't understand every aspect of Pink Floyd's The Wall. But on that point, while I'm talking about it, the movie as well, if you haven't seen the movie, it's a definite must, bleh, definite must watch. It is really good. And there's a song on this album, you've got the song Young, is it not Young Last, it's, oh, what's it called? Um, empty Spaces, you've got the song Empty Spaces and I am really out of focus I do apologise ooh this is a new camera see so I'm still messing around with the settings there we go you've got the song Empty Spaces which in the film it's called uh, What Shall We Do Now and it's longer and What Shall We Do Now is a better version I think it's a better song so, I've already got one out, actually. It comes in this focus, this really nice cursive handwriting that I honestly can't read. But <laughs> I'm dyslexic, so. And then the actual album, the artwork, is on the label. It's lovely. I know it looks dirty it's because it's one of my most played records. So. Definite. Side one, side two. That's not. Yeah, that is. So, side two, I mean, it ends with another brick in the wall, part three, which is a really, really great tune. They then take the single, another, the, another brick in the wall, part two, and then they really ramp it up for that song, and it's perfect. And then it ends with Goodbye for a World. Goodbye, cruel world. I'm leaving you today. Goodbye, which I love. And it's a really great way to end the side. It's not, it's about just socially cutting yourself off from everyone and becoming numb rather than committing suicide, which I thought it was about. So then, side two. It starts with, hey now, hey now? Not hey now, that's Oasis. Hey you. Starts with. 
starts with Hey You, which is one of their best songs, which I love the lyrics on it. Always doing what you're told, can you help me? You know, just begging for help. And the song, my second favourite song on the album is Is There Anybody Out There? I love just the eerie question of him asking, is there anybody out there? Uh, Nobody Home is great. And then the boys back, Bring the Boys Back Home is a great song. And I love the way it bleeds into Comfortably Numb, which is the best song on the album. The way it's just this really big orchestral build up and then it lowers down into Comfortably Numb, which is Comfortably Numb is one of the best songs ever. And then it's definitely the best song on this album. I fucking love Comfortably Numb. That guitar solo is just spectacular. And the lyrics by Walters, yeah, they are amazing. And that goes on to The Show Must Go On, which is great. And then In The Flesh, again, or it's the second one, which is a longer, which is a really great song. And if you watch the movie, you'll see what it's about, where it's like a fascist, you know, Pink has become a fascist, and he's pointing at people and shouting at them. Probably being really uh, run like hell is great. Waiting for the worms. Now I really like the song, the trial, the ending, closing track, which I think is really fun. And the movie, the animation at the end is brilliant. I love the lyrics about losing your marbles and going insane. And then outside the wall, which is a great closing track. And it does. This album sort of loops round. At the end of the complete end of the album, it says, "Shall we? Is this where we?" And then at the start of the album, it says, "Go in," because they obviously cut it in half. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely check out Pink Floyd's "The Wall." Shall I show you the gatefold? I can't remember if I did. This is one of the greatest albums of all time. You definitely get it on vinyl if you're a vinyl collector. But if not, you know, listening to it, I usually, if I have to drive to London or I'm on a long drive, this is my go to album, along with the Beatles White album. Definitely, I keep saying definitely, because I'm so certain that this is one of the best albums of all time. And I could talk for hours about how great it is. There is. I believe this is Roger's Roger Waters The Wall is one of the best selling live shows I think it's second behind U2 I'm not sure on that but it's definitely and I love I love the art just the artwork as well for the album Ooh, that way and you got is that supposed to be just a giant ass I've always thought but that was a giant ass. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, then you also have, if I can find it, it's in here. Uh, so you have Pink Floyd's The Final Cut, which these are songs or a collection of songs that didn't make it onto the wall, hence the name. And this is, again, an amazing album, but it's not as good as The Wall. And it's more of a Roger Waters solo project because it's, it's a lot more toned down than The Wall. But there are songs like uh, When the Tigers Break Free and The Heroes Return that are in The Wall movie, but they're not on The Wall. They've made it to this album. But definitely, if you want to listen, this is a good album as well. You should definitely check out the track, The Final Cut, and Not Now John, which I have a single of up there, which I won't get now. But yeah, definitely check out Pink Floyd's The Wall and The Final Cut, because they are some of the best albums ever. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.